had a private warehouse sale. Well, he's obviously got a splitting headache. Gee whiz, lots and lots of Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a plastic face. Wow. Let's see what we can do on that one. We were here to before, but mm, that's a crack. Love to have these shelves in our warehouse. How cute! <laughs> Are these docks and dogs? Check out that uh, this guy, the uh, Nutcracker, later. Lots of those. Oh, this it is marked. Hmm. I'm not familiar with HMK. <coughs> Last time I was here, I found a lot of uh, Fitz and Floyd. This is interesting. Well, I think Pitch and Floyd is actually made in China now. Not too sure. There's more than just Christmas here. Lots of different books back there. Crafts book, craft books, history books. Hmm. I see a book on antiques. And they're probably outdated, the one on antiques anyway, but it's still a good reference book. This is nice. Jingles and joy. Hmm. Another Fitz and Floyd. Snow Angel. Whoa. On ice skates.
I hate it when the water or the stuff inside glycerin, I guess, starts turning yellow. But it happens. Not shiny bright, it's big lots. Now this is quite a bit different than what I saw last time. All this Christmas was not here. Cleared out a couple things. Cute, cute. It's just a bank. Oh, this is pretty. By Moeller. Or Mueller. Yeah, If we had the room, the big long white buffets, I got a hundred on them. Oh, gee, I didn't even notice that last time. There's one here and another one back down in the corner. Hmm. Well, you know what? I like that desk. You don't have the room to... I know. That's a lot of space. I know. Are you shopping? Mm-hmm. I am. I'm looking. I'm shopping. I've told them a couple of things might help them keep it from getting broke. What's that? That's the china cabinet. Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, we broke one one time, laid on its back, and the uh -huh. electric cord was knotted in a knot. Uh -huh. And when it laid down in the truck, it broke that glass in the back of it. If you want any of these, hmm. it's like a plastic. Is it bone? Oh. I don't know. It's like a plastic resin or something. I don't think it's resin. Here's a buckle. I don't know if you want that. That Budweiser. You can't see it high up on your chest, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's where I'm finding the stuff. Look <laughs> at this thing here. That was high up. Hmm, that's pretty. It'd be cleaned. What is it, pewter or? I don't know. I don't know. It's molded, whatever that is. All I'm saying is there it is. <laughs> You're the expert, not me. <laughs> Shoot. Made in oh. Ger Barbia, Germany. Bavaria. Yeah, Barbia, Germany. <laughs> You thought I was kidding, huh? Look at these. Aren't these cute? Bumblebee napkin holders. Hi. Hey, let me yeah. just give it to her glass, too. Okay. Look. 
broken in. What a shame. See what they have here. Thyme, bay leaf, torn off, nutmeg, oregano. I see salt back there. Oh, sorry. Man. Onion salt. This one has a broken cap and it doesn't look like these are signed. Don't overlook these by the way because some of them are signed and they could be worth a little more. Whoops, I'm sorry. I should have put my camera holder. This is interesting. Obviously, this sits into something. I'm using my camera to see if I can see anything up there I can't. There's a pair of leather baby shoes over there. Oh yeah. There they are. <laughs> it's a pair, honey. It's a pair. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I just said look at that. Uh -huh. Don't you ever wonder how men are how men think. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Green said she was not going to be available to have another service. But she might not be. No, she's not going to be. I think she's going to do something. Look at that. That's pretty. I wish people still like crystal. What's that? Crystal and stuff? Yeah, this. I love those where'd it go? Things. Right here. Oh, yeah. This yeah, no, little I canister. I just had to empty some of those. Sometimes you have to let go of a few things. Don't you? Yeah, you know, if people can't put it in a microwave or a dishwasher, yeah. they just don't want it anymore. <laughs> Oh, did you see what we brought her? <laughs> did you see what we brought her out there? She told me. Did, you I didn't, didn't show it to her. Huh? Have you didn't show her? No, I haven't showed her. I either. Oh, I thought you did. No, honey. That's, no. that's your deal. She told me. The wine? Uh-huh. Hmm. Why don't you show it to her? I'm. You need the wheel on that. I'm looking. <laughs> She's a naked. She's looking all these pretty, pretty boots. Yeah. Oh, we might have brought some things to trade. Looks like only one. Oops. 
just blush glass. Not everything is signed. What is this supposed to be right here? Okay. It's a little trinket box. It's a kitchen design on it. Yeah, but you can put... You could put... Well, you could use it as a can of sugar in it or... And have tea to bags. Sit, sit that way. Never seen one of them. Unusual. She said you, well, she's got it. Yeah, I've got her number. It's in my notebook and I'll text it to you. I'll send you a picture of it. Pretty wallpaper. Let's see here. It looks like Fire King, doesn't it? Yeah, Well, I'm just going to continue having some fun here and looking around before I make my decisions. And when I get home, I'll show you what we discovered. This is not silver. Silver plated. But still gorgeous. Are you yelling at me through the through your uh, computer or phone or whatever you're watching this on? Are you yelling? Get that, get that. Because <laughs> I may just have to get this. <laughs> hmm. Can you see how big this is? As I recall, this back room didn't have as much, although it had a few things. And here we are without a box truck. Hmm. This is upside down, but... I don't think it's an original sketch. Lots of wicker. Okay, I'm going to set this off so I can look with both hands here. That's what I get for not worrying my camera. Not a bad little love seat. Okay. I'll let you go. I'll show you what we have a little bit later.
Thanks for coming along. Okay, here's a loot shoot of what we came home with from that warehouse pick. This obviously is a metal magazine or newspaper rack. And this is hand painted. It's not a transfer. You can see that it's starting to wear here. There is some rust, but even in this condition, I'm thinking around $45. And you probably remember this large tray. I still don't really know what it is. A friend of ours took a look at it and said that he thought it would be, it was possibly uh, brass with a uh, with a silver coating on it. So um, he said it was, he thought it was European, but it's not, well, this rope trim is a little different. So it wouldn't have been sil silver, but, and you can actually see where it was soldered right there as well. So I do know it was European, and I am think I'm going to probably take this to a jeweler or somebody to see if they can actually identify what kind of metal it is. But it doesn't magnetize, and I'm pretty sure it's probably brass, and probably is coated with some silver so uh, probably I'm going to even with the limited knowledge that I have with this I think probably around fifty seventy five dollars I am outside by the way and today's a nice day so it's kind of nice to be out here and take in some fresh air but anyway back to the loot shoot I usually stay away from plates, at least souvenir plates or collector plates because people just don't seem to want them. But these I ended up picking up because they are vintage and this one because it's from uh, around here. It's, it's part of uh, the Smoky Mountains, Pigeon Forge, etc. And I thought possibly somebody who's visiting here might pick that up in one of the shops. Florida, of course. Maine. And these two because, well, all of them actually have a gold trim on them. Which tells me they were probably, they were either made here in the USA or Japan. Maine. Washington, D.C. Another one from Florida. And the natural bridge is just next door here in Virginia. So, again, that's some local flavor that I thought someone here might want. And I'll probably put that in one of the shops. Now, I do have three of these cobalt blue bowls. This one I just didn't unwrap, but as you can see, there's three of them made in Mexico. And cobalt blue, as you know, is so popular that I just really couldn't pass it up. And there's two. The cobalt blue, by the way, will probably go into one of the shops. And we have just a couple of these bows. I didn't see a marking on them at all, but... Maybe cereal bowls. We did pick up a lot of smalls uh, with animals. And this one is a salt and pepper shaker. But it didn't have a match. However, a lot of times people lose one. So we did pick this up. A little chicken. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it here. And I have no idea how old this is. You can see how dirty some of these are. And I need to clean all of them. I have cleaned and actually listed a few of them, but most of them are still out here. Uh, these price tags, by the way, are 
from when they were trying to sell these themselves. So these are not our price tags. They're theirs. A little chicken on the nest. One piece. And you can see Japan. And I know I picked up one of these. There might be another similar one. But remember I told you there was a lot of Fitz and Floyd. And they did have these... Uh, are they ceramic? Well, I guess they're ceramic. Um, display figurines, I guess you call them. Of Fitz and Floyd. When I was showing you the plates, I failed to show you this one. It's the Lord's Prayer, of course, with the depiction of the Lord's Supper in the background. And I am pretty sure that this wasn't broken before, so we must have chipped it here in, in uh, bringing, it, bringing it home with us. So I'll have to make an allowance for this, or I might have to just take it back for donation. And this item here, as you see, it's quite dirty. Uh, this could actually be one of my Watsits, but... This is used to darn socks. What is a sock darner, you said? Or what is darning socks? Well, people used to be a whole lot more frugal than what they are today. And if you had a hole in the sock, you would simply slip the sock over this bulbous part here. And the part that needs to be darned or sewed, sewn shut would, would go here. It just makes it a lot easier for the housewife or house husband, whatever, to make the mend that's necessary. So this is a sock darner. I don't know how old this is. Uh, let's see. Made in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to guess probably 8 to $10 on this. Well, remember I told you that we got a lot of smalls that were animal or, you know, pet related. This is obviously a little kitten here cleaning itself on its cushion. And speaking of cleaning, you can see that this really needs it. This is by Avon, and which tells me that this probably unscrews, and I haven't tried to do that yet. There's no liquid inside that I can hear uh, sloshing around in there, but... Uh, I might try to undo it, or maybe I might have my husband uns unscrew that, because I sure don't want to take a chance on on breaking it. Usually, again, I stay away from Avon bottles, but this was just something I'd never seen before, and so darn cute. So, the statue, not too sure what it's made of, but... Maybe you'll think this is funny. When I first saw this, I thought, hmm, well, this is obviously a Spanish dude. Had no idea who it was. I thought maybe it was some Spanish guy taking a ride with his little girl. And then later, when I did a little bit of research, I found out that this is uh, actually a grown man, Pancho Villa. <laughs> and that tells you how weird I can be sometimes, and this is, oh doggone it, what's his name? Now I can't even remember his name. I know what his name is. Don Quixote. There you go. So, and this is his sidekick, Pancho Villa. You saw some of the toys. This weird looking doll here, kind of scary, is called a Color Me Carol doll. And note her lack of coloring, and that's because she hasn't been colored. Uh, she did get a bath, but oh, it lets you know how dirty she actually was and is. Uh, she's going to have to be getting another scrubbing. This, I think, is just cool as heck because this would come from my childhood. 
or at least teenagehood. This is Lassie. Lassie has a rubber face, glass eyes, and let me show you something here. This tag says Lassie. It doesn't say Disney, it says Lassie. And the picture here on the tag, let me flip this around so you can see it right side up. The picture on the tag here isn't of Timmy and Lassie. It's of Jeff and Lassie. Now, in the TV series, the original owner was a boy named Jeff. And then later on, Timmy arrived with his parents, and they bought the farm. And um, Lassie decided she wanted to stay at the farm. So, this is again quite dirty I don't know if I can clean this or not I know I can clean the face but the fur or the cloth is totally something else and there are a couple little tears in some of these areas that I could probably hand stitch closed without without a lot of notice here And of course that's not all. We ended up with this pair of bookends. I believe this is Mozart. Let me hold it up here so you can see it a little better. It's made of a heavy resin. Uh, not real, real old. I'm thinking probably 70s, maybe even 80s. But it is heavy, or they are heavy bookends, so. And I like the content, so. We ended up with those. These candle holders. And again, this is something that a lot of people just aren't buying anymore. The candle holders. But, when they're this old and this pretty, sometimes you just gotta do it. Uh, these are brass on marble. Uh, nope, not marked. But, look at that detail. Isn't that pretty? And I do have some more crystals down here. If I don't have all the crystals to match these, because I know I've got some more in my in my uh, sewing room down, downstairs, down the basement, uh, I can probably find some on maybe eBay. And these will probably be going on eBay. The candle, or, I'm sorry, the bookends will end up going in one of the shops. And if you don't know me real well, you probably don't know that I'm a sucker for statues. And this is, of course, a bust of David. He's not in the best shape ever, but he's still attractive to me anyway. When I was younger, I had a a small uh, replica, probably maybe 18 inches tall, of the entire statue on my TV. That's back when the TVs were big and had flat tops, and you put items on there to make the TV look pretty. Sometimes the items were functional, like a nightlight or something. This, obviously, is a tin, and I enjoy tins as well. And so do a lot of my customers. So this will be going into one of the shops. As you see, it is a winter shopping scene. And it doesn't actually represent any particular brand. This does come off. I just can't get it off with one hand. It doesn't represent one particular brand, so... It's a nice decorative tin. These are, of course, salad tongs. They are silver plated. Just as this is. <laughs> that big uh, uh, tray I showed you. And these have had a lot of use. She's, you can see this. there's some wiggle in these. They don't come together real well. But, let me 
see what I can find on these as far as markings go. I know that, um, yeah, there we go. Someone has scratched their initials. Can you see it? I think that's a scratched initial. Right there. Hmm, I'll have to look a little bit closer. My husband, by the way, is yelling at Rambo for running away again. <laughs> uh, and I don't see anything else here that would identify it. I'll look a little bit closer when I get back in the house. But these are obviously vintage, and I'm sure they're silver-plated. But these are popular during the holidays with a lot of my customers so i will probably put these in one of our shops for um probably 12 12 dollars maybe david here i will put him in the shop i'm not too sure what he's going to be worth to tell you the truth mr mozart Will probably be around ten or twelve dollars and these candle holders I'm sure will be going on eBay and the pair of them gee I just don't know what I'm going to start or what I will ask for them maybe twenty five thirty dollars for the set so that's it and actually we did buy some other things that we're not showing you because uh, it's furniture and those will be going one item we already put into the shop and the other one i forget what we did with it i think that's some storage but that gives you an idea of what we came home with we did get a few other smalls and that's it so i hope you did enjoy taking a look at what i've shown you here let me know what you think is the best item and by the way just because I said I'm going to put them online or in the shops doesn't mean that they're not going to be available to you so if you see anything here that you're interested in just let me know I'll give you a price and of course you would be paying shipping for it as well because that's what the post office charges me so thank you for coming along please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video subscribe leave me a comment and as i requested just a second ago if you would just let me know what you think uh the best item that we ended up is ended up with is <laughs> thanks again appreciate you and god bless